You may not know it, but the Paramount Theater in downtown Seattle is home to a mighty Wurlitzer organ. There are only three left in the country. And to honor this instrument and its legacy, the Seattle Theater Group is hosting another series of silent movie Mondays. Starting this Monday, the 28th, with the Phantom of the Opera. Music is played live in the theater while the movie is shown. And here to tell us more about the series is Amanda Roundtree from the Seattle Theater Group. This is pretty cool. It is. I love this series. So, okay, tell us about the series and how it started kind of around the organ. Yeah, so originally uh, the Paramount Theater was built as a silent movie palace. Uh, so it opened its door on March 1st, 1928 with a silent film called Feel My Pulse starring B.B. Daniels okay. and William Powell. And so to honor that legacy uh, of both the uh, Paramount Theater itself and the Mighty World Lister Organ, which is built into the Paramount for that purpose to show silent right. films, uh, we continue to show them today. And so during the movie, you're playing is it just the organ that's being played or? Typically, so typically okay. um, we have organists, um, some of the greatest organists from around the Puget Sound area who come and um, compose uh, sco live scores to play with the silent films um, oh, for each of the silent okay. films that we show. Although our sort of season centerpiece this right. year, which is Charlie Chaplin's The Gold Rush, will be played with a live orchestra. Oh, that that would be very cool too. But I would imagine for the composers, for the organists, it must be a yeah. really neat opportunity that doesn't you can't find it a lot of places, right? Well, exactly. As you said, um, there's only three of these Mighty Rulers or organs that are original to their theaters left in the country. And so to be able to play on an instrument that right. old, to be able to play in a beautiful yeah. uh, venue like the Paramount. With and the acoustics. To be, and, absolutely. Oh. It's beautiful. Wow. Um, okay, so what is it about silent movies that you think is appealing with this series? What is it bringing it back? Or, or for people who, obviously, most of us have never even been in that era. I have not been in the silent movie era. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, I think part of it is um, the magic of being able to experience a silent film, especially in a venue like right. the Paramount, um, to be able to uh, hear it as it was intended to be heard um, with the organ, live organ, with the live audience. Uh, I also just think that um, people, there are so many cinephiles who are sort of flocking yeah. to, um, to the silent movies. I think our, in the 2023 season, 2024 season, we had record-breaking numbers uh, for our Silent Movie that Mondays. That tells you what they want. Yeah, and I think uh, it's wonderful to see audiences, both yeah. young and old. Um, we have a lot of folks from the deaf and hard of hearing community who come out to see the films. Okay, I hadn't thought and of I, that. And I think that yeah. a lot of people just uh, are really interested in recapturing the magic of old Hollywood again. So the first movie we mentioned, um, Phantom of the Opera, tell us about that. So 1925, so almost 100 years old, and it stars Lon Chaney, uh, the sort of great master of silent horror. Um, and he actually created his own makeup for the film, which he kept hidden until right before uh, it was screened and right oh, before he stepped the on phantom. set. Okay. Absolutely, oh. he plays the phantom, um, the, the titular phantom in the, in the story. It's based on uh, Gaston Leroux's yeah. original tale of the the famed phantom who haunts the Paris Opera House. I, I just it, it's amazing to kind of sit in the silence too and kind of appreciate things that maybe we wouldn't now in movies. Absolutely. So, what are some of the other movies that are going to be shown? You mentioned the Gold Rush. Mentioned Charlie Chaplin's The Gold Rush, yeah. which will be in January, and then uh, I believe in April we are showing uh, F. W. Murnau's The Last Laugh, okay. um, which folks might know F. W. Murnau from uh, his famous Nosferatu, his famous vampire silent film. Oh. Uh, which uh, Robert Eggers is actually making a remake of that, which comes out later this year. We still love a vampire. <laughs> love a vampire. And then in the spring next or next summer, in next August, we're showing uh, Harold Lloyd's The Freshman. So which Harold Lloyd is always yeah. a crowd favorite because uh, his films are so fun and funny. Yeah. And who plays the organs? You said it's all different or? We have different organists who come. So for Phantom of the Opera, it'll be Teddy Gibson will be playing uh, the organ for us that evening. And how much are tickets and where can people buy them? You can buy them at stgpresents.org. Um, and tickets are, we try to keep the series yeah. accessible because we really want lots of different types of people to come. And so the series tickets are usually about $12. I would imagine this would be a really cool thing 
something to bring your family to. Absolutely. And then to all the different generations, which is would be very interesting to see their take on it. Absolutely. You know? I had a I had a couple who walked up to me at the last silent movie and said that it was their first time uh, at the Paramount and it was their first time bringing their daughter to see a silent okay. film and she was about 13 and she absolutely loved it. She found me afterwards and was telling me how much she loved yeah. uh, wow. seeing the film. We yeah. have people who dress up in wonderful costumes um, from the 1920s yeah. and who, who, who go all out. So there's something to be said for appreciating a new way of looking at or appreciating films. So thank you Absolutely. so much. Head to the Seattle Theater Group for a list of all their silent movies they plan to show. And remember, tickets, she said, are just $12.